Hey, guys. All right, so uh, recently I've been trying to appreciate uh, things that I don't usually think of appreciating, like freedom of speech, just to be positive. Yeah, it's really nice. Why are you laugh at freedom of speech? <laughs> no, okay. It's really nice. Like, you get to say whatever you want. You get to boo the president. You get to boo the president if you want to. That's so nice. Boo! Stop sniffing people's hair at work. Boo! That's so nice. You can't do that in North Korea. Like, before you even finish the boo, you'll see a missile. <laughs> this later. <laughs> so it's nice to appreciate it. This next thing I appreciate, uh, it's controversial, but just take a ride with me, L.A., okay? I know you're woke, but take a ride. I don't like and I'm against guns. I have them, but I'm... I, L.A., I say take a ride with me. But look at my face. I know that I don't look like a person that would have guns, and that's why I got 17 of them. <laughs> but it's so conflicting in my heart because I know it's dangerous and I don't want it. But the thing is, every other person has it in America, and also Asian hate. That's why I told you I got 29 of them. Because <laughs> people would walk around, look at my face, and just go, you know what? I'm just going to rob him with nothing. And I'm like, just kidding. Bam. <laughs> I got one, too. <laughs> But I definitely thought about it. Like, my friends who's against it, he's like, Jason, what are the chances of you even surviving a gunfight? I was like, super low. Like, I was like, almost impossible. <laughs> but I was like, you don't even have a gun, so your chance is zero. <laughs> to me, it's like lottery. If you don't play, you won't win. <laughs> but maybe is how I feel. But I don't know, maybe it's my paranoia. I literally have a gun taped at the inside of a lamp. My wife's like, Jason, just put it in the nice end like everybody else. I'm like, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> everybody puts it in the nice stand. If the burglar come in and they want to take my gun from the night stand, I'm like, just kidding. <laughs> and now the light is on. <laughs> I see your face. Please. I'm paranoid, for sure, because I have a gun uh, in the kitchen, in the pantry, next to the peanut butter. My wife was like, Jay said, this is ridiculous. I was like, no, babe, listen. In, if I'm making you breakfast and we're vulnerable, I have the option, if the burglar come in with a gun, I have the option to go, sir, please, don't shoot. I'm just making a peanut butter bullet sandwich. <laughs> You think you could come to my house, threaten me? You think you could come to my house that my wife pays for? Threaten me and her? Okay, and if you look at my gun, this is the worst gun handling safety ever. But I just want to let you guys know, this is how you let the burglar know that you're freaking crazy. Uh, it sends a message. Uh, I don't give a shit about you or me or this bitch here. I'm about to shoot her, and then me, and then you. <laughs> so it's conflicting in my heart. Because it's dangerous, but also I protect my wife. So my conclusion about guns is this, because some of you are not laughing, is this. <laughs> if you're against guns, trust me, I'm with you. But if you like them, me too. That's how I feel. But it doesn't even matter how you feel these days. Some people would just hate you, shame you, and guilt you anyways. Like, I have a friend who's always on social media. She's always like, Jay said, stop eating the... To everybody, but sometimes... Stop eating the cows. They're literally slaughtering them. Don't eat the cows. And I feel really guilty. And the thing is, I don't want the cows to die either. But I don't know how else to eat the steak. <laughs> I feel like that's the only way. <laughs> Documentary influences you too, see Spiracy. No, eat the fish, you're damaging the planet. Flap, 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 oh no. <laughs> Me and my wife both saw it and uh, we immediately don't want to eat fish. So we went to a steakhouse. Because <laughs> we want to do our part <laughs> as American citizens. 
I just don't know what else we're gonna be shamed for in like five years. Oh, the potatoes! <laughs> they'll eat the potatoes! They're literally mashing them. <laughs> but sometimes some of us don't, I feel like most of us don't have enough energy to care for something. When you do, I admire that, but the thing is, like, you don't know what each other's going through. Like, I know most of us don't have enough energy to care for more than us, like ourselves and our family, and then maybe our friends. I know this because every time when we're stuck on the, on the freeway, just stuck in traffic, and we're late, and we're frustrated and anxious because of a car crash, every single one of us is in the back like, well, when I get up there, somebody better be dead. <laughs> somebody better be unconscious in that vehicle. And some people don't know if they could laugh because they're like, no, I'm a good person. <laughs> I'm gonna go a step further. When we pass the car crash, nobody's pulling over like, is everything okay? Never seen that before. Every single one of us passing by is like, oh, this is the piece of shit. <laughs> that decided, that decided to crash his goddamn car <laughs> on a Monday afternoon. <laughs> Everybody's driving straight. Why you turn the car and crash into the wall? Making me late to eat steak. <laughs> Selfish. I just don't want to be shamed, is what it is. Give me the benefit of the doubt. Like, this is another thing I didn't know was a problem in LA. But uh, I got a dog during the pandemic. I love my dog. But I got it from a breeder. And I didn't know this was a problem before you boo. I didn't know. <laughs> okay? This lady, she shamed me. This is how she shamed me. She looked at my dog and looked at my face. This is how she shamed me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> What do you mean, ho? Oh, well, mine's a rest girl. Do you see Todd and its only leg? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a kebab. <laughs> yeah, but I rescued that. Before I continue, I just want to say this. Of course, there's loving people who just have a wholeheartedly love their pets more than people, and I appreciate that. But some people want a virtue signal and like say that they're gonna be like, oh, I rescued it. It's like, yeah, obviously. <laughs> no animal comes out this way. <laughs> it looks like a lollipop that caught hair on the ground. I get it, I rescued it. And then I'm a human, so, we all, so I felt really bad. I feel really bad. So I started Googling stuff. And I didn't know this. Two million pets will go from the breeder where I got it from straight, right? A lot of the times go to a bad home, get abused, beaten, and then go to their shelter. And some people who want a virtue signal, they go, oh, look who needs my help. Don't worry, I am here in Jesus' image <laughs> to rescue you. The word rescue literally means save from danger. Why did you wait for it to get beaten first? <laughs> I didn't wait, I went straight to the source. I rescued it. <laughs> I rescued it with money. You are just a cheap bastard is what you are. You just didn't want to pay for extra legs. Cause legs cost money. I know some of you triggered. <laughs> My thing is, don't freaking shame me. How about you love your pet and I love my pet and we both go home?